Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to this lecture series of DHCH software. Okay, so in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to uh, uh, see our older schematics and we are going to convert them into symbol. Alright, so for that uh, what we need to do is we need to go to file and open. Okay, and we will open our schematics which we have made till now. That is, uh, let's say we open an inverter. So I will open this inverter and discuss CMOS. Okay. So here is our CMOS inverter. Now you see here that this is a very big circuit and if we want to use uh, it in other circuits, we can use like we have did till now, but it will take more space. All right. So uh, for that we will uh, generate a symbol. So to make a symbol, what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, go to file and we need to go to this option schema to new symbol all right so now we need to select schema to new symbol and you will see this dialog box will pop up and now it will see uh, it will show you the inputs and outputs and their positions okay so this you can see in the symbol preview let me just use magnifier Okay, so in the symbol preview, uh, you will see here. Yeah, this is uh, the input one and the output one. So these are the positions for input one and output one. And this is the side that is left or right or where should be the input. Okay, so here uh, we can sort it according to uh, our wish. Okay. And you can see when I try to change it here, let's say I uh, do it as R, you can see when I refresh, okay, the input is not showing. So anyway, let's just keep it as L. Maybe now input will show when I keep it as L and it is at R. Yeah. So you see output and input uh, are on the opposite sides now. This is basically because uh, there is one input and one output. So that's why uh, it is showing on different sides. Okay. That is uh, from one side there is input, other side there is output. And you can see you can compress or expand this symbol according to you need. So by clicking here, you can expand or clicking here, you can compress so that it will take lesser space. Okay, so this is how uh, our symbol will look like and this is input one and output one. Okay, so now uh, this is the name for inverter underscore CMOS and this is the title. So let me just, uh, now you need to do is click OK to create the symbol. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to go to insert insert and symbol okay so you can see here there is already the symbol edsch system inverter cmos dot sym file so you can also click on user symbol now you remember what uh, till now when we need to add the inverter we do not add sym file we added sch file but now we will be adding the inverter as sym file so just need to go to uh, the IEEE folder and here you need to search. Okay, inverter is not here. Maybe it will be in system. Yeah, it is saved in system by default. So there is our inverter underscore CMOS dot SYM symbol. So we just need to open it and you can see this. This is our CMOS which we have made using this circuit. This is our inverter. Okay, that is this big circuit comes to uh, is uh, made using this uh, it is now compressed in this small uh, logic block okay similarly you can uh, use other big circuits and convert them into logic blocks so let us put an input and output here okay first of all let us generate uh, let us delete this system all right so now this is the button and this is the LED. 
Okay, so now both of these are the inverters and they should function in the same way. So when I run the simulation, you can see when the input is zero, output is one. When the output is one, the input is zero. So this is how you develop the symbol, develop a symbol. Okay, now let's open another gate and another schematic which we have made previously, and we will use this symbol. Okay, so for example, let's use AND gate. Okay, so okay, there is yeah, NAND gate is there. So let's use NAND gate. Okay, so this is our NAND gate. You can see when the input is zero or any one of the input is one, uh, the output is one. When both the inputs are one, the output is zero. So now to make this NAND gate and AND gate, what we need to do uh, is we need to add the inverter. Okay, so for that we are going to add the symbol of the inverter. So now we are going to do is insert user symbol, and from here we will add this inverter. Okay, so you see now how it how easy it becomes to add the symbol. So let's just drag and drop, and now you see we have added the symbol, and now let's just run. And it will work according to the AND gate. You can see when both the inputs are one, the output is one. Any of the input is zero, or both inputs are zero, the output is zero. And not only the inverter, you can now make a whole symbol for this circuit. That is, this is now AND gate. You can make the symbol for this circuit. So just select schema to new symbol. Now you can see here there are two inputs. That is B and A, and there is one output. Okay, so this is how our symbol will look like. So let us change the position. That is, I need B below. Okay, and let's refresh. You can see A and B have swapped the positions now. All right. Or uh, you know, we can uh, select the order from here as well, increasing order or decreasing order. So uh, I need A on the top and B here. Okay, and now I am going to name it and. Because we have used the inverter, so it is AND gate, and title will be AND to CMOS. All right. So now I can compress or expand the gate in the way I want to. Okay, and I will click OK. So now I will just add other symbol that is AND to CMOS, and you can see this whole circuit, which is so big in here, we have in this small logic block. All right. And we can use it in our further circuit. So let us apply the inputs and the output, and see how our uh, how our AND gate is working. So let's just run simulation, and you see when both the inputs are one, the output is one. All right. So this is how we generate the symbols, and these symbols can be used in any of the logic circuit. Okay. So that's how uh, we are going to make our further circuits. And in the big circuit, that is full adder, full subtractors, or other combinational circuits, latches, flip flops, we will be using these symbols. So it will be highly beneficial if you create the symbols of the schematics which we have uh, done till now, okay? Because we will be using these symbols directly. So uh, this is how we generate a symbol for our circuit. And uh, this is all for this video, guys. See you in the next video.